Thor News presents Thor's astronomy class for grown ass men and women. Day one. You see, in 2009, I took an astronomy class at the University of North Texas. It changed my life. It was called Stars in the Universe. And here we're looking at my day one doodles, spaceship, superhero, bad guy, and a close up of our good guy. Chapter one. Hey, what is astronomy? Astro equals star. Nomos equals law. See? We aren't even a minute in. We are already learning stuff. That is great. Astronomy is the study of the universe and the study of the physics of celestial physics. I wonder if that was just meant to say study of the universe is the study of celestial physics. Because studying the physics of celestial physics seems mildly redundant. All right, I guess we're going to be working with length will equal meters, mass will equal grams, volume will equal mass cubed. Three? What is three? Dang, anybody know? Time equals second. Distance from the sun to Earth, 1550 million kilometers. Speed of light, 300,000 kilometers per second. How far does light travel in one year? Shit, I did not write that down. Do you know? One light year equals the speed of light times one year. Why'd I write that down? A light year seems pretty self explanatory, man. 300,000 kilometers a second times one year, but one year equals 365 days times 24 hours, and there are 60 minutes in an hour. See, that's a lot of math. I think I got a C in this class, because I'm not good at math. All right, constellations, they are groupings of stars that make an apparent pattern when viewed from Earth. There were 88 recognized constellations when I took that class. I do not know if there are more now. I will have to Google that stuff. Hey, did you know Denton, Texas, where the University of North Texas is located and is a very cool place, has a latitude of 33.3 degrees. Denton, Texas, little d, is a very cool place. It has a five to three girls for guys ratio. The square, which is a part in town, it's just a square that everybody goes to, is awesome. And you can get anywhere in that city or town on a bicycle in seven Seven minutes or less. Man, I loved living in Denton. We used to like to ride our bikes from like 3 till 5 in the morning. It was a lot of fun. Um, and then cook out and stuff, watch the stars. You see, back then I was going to be a professor of screenwriting and work with the astronomy department making cool videos, but that shit did not work out. That is a story for a whole nother video. Algamest, the greatest. What? Well, greatest what? Where does that word come from? Right, astronomy in ancient times. Ancient people had a better, clearer chance to study the sky and see patterns of stars, constellations, than we do today. Well, that makes sense. Apparently, industry and technology have clouded our view of the heavens. Wow, that sentence has multiple meanings. Oh, hey, yeah, you, me. Oh, hey, yeah, you, me. What does that mean? Ptolemy, puddle me, Ptolemy, Ptolemy, invented latitude and longitude. Well, isn't that good to know? Copernicus? It probably should have been Copernicus. Huh? Proposed the helix model. I wonder if she's hot. Haha. <laughs> no, the helix model is not, not a supermodel. Probably not even female. It's just a helix, bro. See, look, Ursa Major, Uranometria. Did you know the Big Dipper is not a constellation? Well, you do now. Asterism, WTF is that? Future me has to look it up. LOL, Spanish notes. No, me gusta Kobe, me gusta Shaq. See, that's how old it was. All right, yeah, Orion has always been my favorite dude in the sky, for sure. Hunter, Greek Chinese. Shen, Supreme Warrior. Whoa, Ender fought with Orion at his side. Hindu, call him Skanda, General of a Great Celestial Army. That. The Hindus called him Skanda, the general of a great celestial army. That is pretty cool. The Aborigines called Orion the three fishermen and the three mountain sheep. His belt anyways. And did you know Beetlegoose? Beetlegoose? Wait, can't say it a third time. Is his right shoulder. And Rigel is in his belt. Wriggle, wriggle, wriggle it just a little bit. The magnitude scale by hip arcs went from 1660 to 127 BC. Man, can you imagine doing New Year's backwards? Like a negative one? Like let's say New Year's 2013 went to 2012 and then 2012 went to 2011. And we could relive all that 2012 Nibiru madness all over again. Wouldn't that be fun? Okay, great. The magnitude scale will be on the second test. All right, I probably should study better. In the celestial sphere in the celestial sphere the zenith is pointed directly overhead wait whose head and the nadir is the point on the celestial sphere directly underneath and it's neat in film we use nadir as the moment where your character thinks all hope is lost and he doesn't have a chance to win it usually comes about the end of act two or the beginning of act three it's the point where you think the hero doesn't have a chance well if written well a lot of people don't do that so well nowadays dang all right so i'd like one more night in your life that is a quote from the strokes they're an excellent band kepler's second law the line joining the planet to the sun sweeps out in equal areas in equal times as the planet travels across the ellipse whoa newton's laws seem way cooler and stronger but that is just my opinion you may disagree at will a philion at helion farthest distance between the object and its orbiter orbiter oh 
Good word. Slowest speed in orbit at the aphelion. Interesting. Kepler's third law. The ratio of the squares of the revolution periods for two planets is equal to the ratio of the cubes of their semi-major axes. Whoa, yeah. Totally. Newton's laws are way cooler, funner, and more gettable than Kepler's, yo. And it's not just my opinion. That is now a fact. No, I'm just kidding. It's still my opinion. Astronomical unit. One AU is the semi-major axis of Earth's orbit around the sun, essentially the average distance between Earth and the sun. One AU equals 150 times 10 to the sixth power kilometers. I think that's going to wrap it up for Thor, Thor's astronomy class for grown ass men and women. Um, I don't know if you like this, but uh, I think it's interesting to at least go over these notes. It's like a free class, man. College is expensive. Okay, cool. Hey, gorgeous young thing. Over 18 and out of high school. Would you like to study with me? I'm Thor and I'm awesome. Plus, I know some funny jokes and I got some good rice crispy cake recipes that will blow your stinking mind and make you see psychedelics totally legally now. No, baby. Okay, it sounds good. Just text me back or whatever. Twitter, tweet me. Um, Facebook my face. I don't know. Damn you kids and your new lingos.